tour, baby. Five bike parks, three weeks, and one hell of a good time. Let's do this. Let's go! We're driving an RV across BC in hunt of the best bike park trails. We're throwing meetups at every stop and pulling pranks along the way. Hi, you got a toilet in there? Yeah. Really? Can I, can I lay it down? <laughs> Whoa. One thing's certain, it's gonna get hectic. Whoa. Anything can and will happen. This is the I Only Ride Park Tour. First interview, I Only Ride Park Tour, take one. I Only Ride Park Tour, we got eight dudes, one girl, one RV, two support vehicles, 12 bikes. We're starting here in Whistler. Huge shout out to SRAM, RockShox, Bicycle Broker, and all the mountains involved. This tour wouldn't be happening without them, so massive thank you. Our crew involves the classic Mahalo crew. We got me, Kaz. I don't think I've spent 20 days with any of any of us. Matt. We have a lot to capture. We got a lot of biking to do, a lot of risks to take, a lot of kilometers to beg. You never know what's gonna happen out here on the road. And joining us as well, we have Ollie Jones. Boop, 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 boop. Haley Elise. It's just me and a bunch of boys in an RV. David Wiggins. I don't really know what the mountain bikers day to day is gonna look like. Uh, I'm imagining a lot of mountain biking. Scott Bell is on as a filmer. I'm glad I'm hung over for the first time being on camera on this channel. Then we also have Lucas Thompson. With all that hard work in the day, you know, I'm sure we'll be playing hard at night as well. And uh, the young gun, Alonzo. It's been late night after late night, and I'm currently running off four hours of sleep. So I rented an RV for three weeks from a Fraser Way RV, and then we drove up the Sea to Sky, one of the best drives in the world. You know, it was looking a little plain, it just had Avenger on the side, so we had to put our own little twist on it. We got the Mahalo My Dude stickers, we have Island Ride Park Tour, so you can't miss the RV. The RV is pretty dope. It's 400Ks on the thing. It's brand new, so we're just trying to figure it out, break her in, go easy on her. It's got one of those slide out sides, which is super cool. It's got storage, it's got a bathroom, which we've took an oath to never use. We should make a wager. Yeah. The adventure actually drives pretty smooth, but you just gotta you gotta go through the checklist. There's like a dozen kind of items. You gotta make sure all the like things are tucked in, everything's uh, safe and ready to take it on the road. Mr. Matt Dennison. He's got the side door out. Not supposed to be driving with that, but he's a new RV driver. It's been an interesting morning. I have my wisdom teeth out, like, I don't know what, six days ago, five days ago? I'm just eating my breakfast and now the stitches are falling out of my mouth. And it's a lovely way to start the trip. Let's go. <laughs> the, the plans for the first ride in Whistler was pretty chill, you know? We were kind of all getting acquainted with each other, getting to know the trails for some of the people that hadn't ridden the trails before. I think Scott hadn't been in the bike park for 15 years. I had never ridden with a backpack in a bike park before. It had been 15 years since I'd even been in a bike park. So it was a little bit, uh, I was apprehensive to say the least. Nobody told me I didn't have a ticket yet. <laughs> Scott's like, oh sweet, they're just gonna let us on without a ticket. And it's like, what, you don't have a ticket? He's like, no. It's his first time here in 15 years. So we'll, we'll be easy on him, but what a joey. We decided to uh, head up to Garbanzo, skip the big lift line. Just gotta get the first day jitters out. <laughs> that sucks. Oh, baby. This is the Oakley hip. There's a big Oakley O built above it. Let's put a Pit Viper logo on it. <laughs> yeah. Can we Photoshop a Pit Viper logo on there? <laughs> the Oakley hip is my favorite jump, I think, on the bike park. It's just so iconic. You have an amazing backdrop of the village below. That was good. I love that jump. You're just floating forever. It just, it, it just, and like the view, you can't beat it, man. Ollie right out of the gate was like, hey guys, we got a lot of riding to be done. So let's like, you know, keep her chill, right? Aliens dropping. Three, two, one. 
First feature that we decide to stop at, first trail that we're on, first run of this entire trip, we're hitting the Oakley hip. I want to do a no-hander, but uh, my foot fell off that time. I got to get like a really good one, like once the whole tour. What we were chatting about, Kodak Courage, where um, you know the cameras come out and everyone gets a bit bucko, but it's day one. I mean, I was guilty of that for sure. <laughs> so I was setting up the camera at the bottom of the tree island hip. Ollie rolls in, he hasn't hit it yet. He like cruises into it and does like a, this kind of motion. And I knew exactly what he was thinking in his mind. And then Kaz comes and he's like looking at me all weird. And I'm thinking, does he think that he knows that I was considering doing a backy on it? I just saw Ollie roll up to it and I knew exactly what he was thinking. <laughs> you were thinking about doing a backflick, weren't you? Yeah, but it's, it's day one, dude. And my mouth still hurts. So it would be risky. I don't think your mouth has anything to do with the... Yeah, but if I go down, it's not going to be nice, is no. it? But I've got to channel positive thought. It's just not really the lip, but I love doing things that aren't supposed to be done. Just like, it was really windy, and I, yeah, I just ended up straight airing it, and then I was like, well, I have to go do it now. The second run's the run, and I'm going to consider the wind, and then, uh, yeah, I just yanked Holy for it. It was going great, and then it just felt like the rotation stopped. Bike goes up, he goes down. He rotated the rest of the way with his body for the most part, and uh, bike came down not on him, luckily. It looks like I'm doing a three star, a backy three star, old school style. But I definitely wasn't. I was trying to get out of there safely. <laughs> Somehow he slid to home base and jumped up and kept running to the dugout. He was the first person to tell me to chill because it's day one. We don't want to send it too hard. We got to last this whole trip. And then Haley took a big crash. Yeah, it just like went off of it pretty big and ended up not hipping it enough and went right into the nice, soft, loose stuff on the landing and ended up having an explosion of a crash. Whoa. So when you have those crashes right out of the gate, they, they suck, but at the same time, they're a little bit of a blessing because it's if you walk away and everything's fine, then you're like, all right, tone her down. Oh, That's a boo-boo. Yeah. Well, guys, lap one, trail one, feature, feature one. one, session one, <laughs> session one, bike bike how we won. <laughs> bike bike one. <laughs> Baba. We're winning. <laughs> <laughs>
So here in Whistler, we're staying at the Pangea Pod Hotel, which if you're not familiar, uh, you sleep in pods. Good morning. Welcome to my pod. It's uh, kind of like a hostel vibe. You leave your pod and there's a dining room and they have great breakfast available, get coffees. It's a great setup there. Me, Haley, Kaz, and Lucas, we, uh, we separated from the group to, to go harvest some nugs of our own, which was pretty fun. We went to uh, Crank It Up, which is a personal favorite of mine. I actually love that trail. I wasn't gonna be disappointed about that. We went down there and we just found some fun stuff just to vibe on, you know? All right, let's go. I'd always wanted to gap the box, but I'd never actually like stopped and spent some time looking at that. So that was sweet to do that. Oh, the suey, yeah, the suey. Haley threw down on the suey on the step up. She was getting it and then it just locked in, you know, she like changed it up a little bit and then it was just on lock and she did like three epic ones in a row. It was actually sick, the best ones I've ever seen her do straight up. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Yo, look at her horns. Fred Eagle. Well, pam! <laughs> and it all came together. So at every stop on tour, we want to connect with our fans. This is a big thing that we've wanted to do, and it's been hard over the last few years with uh, the pandemic. But we really want to interact with the fans, so we're doing meetups at every stop. So we did our first meetup at the RV in the day lots, and it was sweet. So me, Haley, Ollie, and Lucas have just been coming up ways that maybe we can prank everybody else. We're gonna get one of our friends that Matt and Jason and the crew doesn't know. During the meet and greet, we're gonna put a hat on them or like some sort of disguise and they're gonna ask Matt for a sticker and then they're gonna leave and then they're gonna come back with another disguise on and they're gonna ask Matt for a sticker again. And they're gonna repeat this with different disguises until hopefully Matt catches on or gets weirded out. We'll see. Could be fine. Sticker number one, phase one complete. <laughs> it's the wrong sport, really. It re really? <laughs> this is round two, rock climber time. <laughs> Should we give a sticker to the rock climber? Yeah! 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 All right, we got it. Thank you very much. Yeah. Round number two, success. We got a baby sticker. We're still warming up for the big Mahalo one. Yeah, we dug in, you know, this is what we're looking That, yeah, perfect. <laughs> They're definitely catching on. <laughs> I had to pull the there's more than one English guy card. <laughs> Should we just go right to this one? <laughs> that was actually my brother that was here last time. Oh yeah. Completely different guy. Do a surprise pack. Surprise pack. Yeah. yeah. Thank you very, very much. Surprise pack. <laughs> so we did a one up. We've got a surprise pack instead of just the sticker. <laughs> but they've definitely caught on. Alright, this is the last one. Five. Round five. I've heard there's been a lot of kids taking advantage of them and taking all of their stickers. So we're feeling bad, so we wanna we wanna give back to them. Good luck. <laughs> so I heard you guys might have run out of some stickers. Okay, so no, I, this I just wanted to come down. along and just yeah. say, do, do you want some stickers? This guy showed up at the booth three times <laughs> in <laughs> different <laughs> four times in I a different costume. <laughs> asked us for wait, stickers wait, each wait, time. Yeah. You don't, you don't recognize that outfit? Yeah, I recognize. Oh, are you playing a prank on me? <laughs> oh, is this set up? Yeah. Oh, you guys I'm are in on this? i a weird guy. <laughs> I did actually think, wait, oh yeah, it's all my shit. Yeah. Yeah. The hell? Like a real car, oh my uh, God. <laughs> well, the first prank of the trip, great. <laughs> and it was on you! <laughs> <laughs> Have a good tour, guys. Thank you. <laughs> laps on laps. 
Free Ride MTB. Super sponsored. Listen up. I'm still fast. I'm faster than you. My bike's sick and I shred the blues. I'm fast. Way faster than you. Way faster than you and you too. I'm fast. Way faster than you. Your bike's crap and you're getting past. I'm fast. Way faster than you. Way faster than all of your crew. Stacking clips, my GoPro is running. POV, my IG is bumping. Brand new pity V's on my eyes. When I pass you, it is no surprise. My wheels don't match, I only run mullet. Give me a Red Bull, I surely will scull it. I have one speed, and that speed is fast. If you race me, you will come in last. I'm fast, I'm faster than you. My bike's sick, and I shred the blues. I'm fast. Way faster than you. Way faster than you and you too. Tonight we're heading out to dinner at Sushi Village. The crew has told me this is an iconic spot in Whistler to, to check out. I imagine it'll be pretty chill and then I'm gonna try to go home and, and crush some edits and get things moving forward. We just ordered a whole lot of food and I don't know if that waitress even wrote one thing down. Was she writing guys? Oh my god, that's insane. Wow. Do you guys still do the boat? I love Sushi Village. <laughs> it's always good time here. Things got a little rowdy at Sushi Village. Monkey shots. The monkey shot. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah, baby. Oh, oh he's getting up. Oh, yeah. Go. <laughs> One of the other sick parts of this tour that we really want to incorporate is guest riders from each location. We want to get the locals in here that know the lines, know the gaps. I'm Jason, extremely average rider, and this is Ryan Mintakis, extremely above average rider, and this is Five Hits in the Bike Park with Ryan. Let's get it. All right, welcome to Insane Gap number three. This one is a bit of a triple hit. All right, gap number four. We're back on freight train. This is the normal jump from here to here. Woo! So I got. That's how you do a burn to burn gap. Ryan Mintakis. All right, that was five quick hit sends. Ryan here. Dude, thank you so much. Yeah, thanks for having us. It was so fun. Uh, I'm glad to show everyone the lines up in Whistler. Um, you can find me on Instagram, but I'm always in the park, so. Literally thanks so much lives there. Us. Yeah. <laughs> Clearly. Yeah. All right, let's get to the next segment. It's our final morning here in Whistler, and we are doing something very different, something we've never done before. We are bobsledding at the Whistler Sliding Center. I'm so excited for this. I hardly know what to expect. So we're actually shuttling ourselves up to the top right now. Is anybody nervous? It seems pretty chill. Yeah, I feel like kids do it, you know? Pretty cool program here to develop Olympic athletes. Dave might be one of them. This could be the start of something new.
That was definitely faster than I thought it was gonna be. Oh, Are we guys oh. speedy marmots? Sure, yeah, speedy marmots. Versus Jay. Uh, control, the speedy marmots are ready for their time and speed, please. Sound at 91 kilometers an hour. Oh. Oh, two oh. seconds slower. What? That is a big win. Hey, you very good. See you next time. So moving on from Whistler, we're uh, heading to some peaks. It took some uh, it took some doing, to be honest, to get the RV loaded up, get the bikes loaded up, get everyone's heads loaded in. Yeah, that's road tripping. One of the grossest things I think I've ever seen in my life. Okay, here we go. Come on for the map, don't worry. There you go. Yeah? Ooh, yum, 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 yum,